Hi guys, Steph here. Now, what we've got for you is another pen haul video for you people. Now, before before I go ahead with them, I get a lot of messages from people saying, Oh, Steph, you're so lucky getting all these pens. Well, it's not luck. Let me give you an example. Last week, I set off at 1 o'clock in the morning for a four-hour drive. After driving the four hours, I spent numerous hours traping around walking around looking for pens spending lots of money uh, unfortunately the pen fund now is well totally depleted um, and then after sort of all the pen hunting I did we had to actually travel back four hours I'll set off at one o'clock in the morning and I think I came home about eight o'clock in the evening so it was a long day and to be quite honest with you it wasn't luck I have to work at these things so without further ado let's show you the pens as always some are interesting some are good some are bad some are ugly some are just for parts etc the majority of the pens will be available for sale so if anybody's interested as always like all my customers and viewers get in touch down below there don't be shy so yeah without further ado slightly different setup because i've got a new camera i'm still working on it trying to get it all right um, so i've got all the pens to the side here first of all i'm just going to show you all the box pens as part one and then tomorrow we'll do part two so without further ado let's let's get some of them over here um right we've got a nice box here what's in here let's open them up there we go a nice Conway Stewart fountain pen and pencil um oh look they're very nice look at that a unique fountain pen and pencil in this lovely green green marbling very nice indeed um this one does what it says on the tin Parker let's open it up and there we go we've got a nice Parker senior yeah lovely nib aero well aerodynamic aerometric filler as I say a senior with a pencil as well in uh, a Parker Dufold box very nice indeed another Parker here let's open that up there we go yeah that's the one for parts I think you can see it's broken here the feed at the back is actually missing as well um, it's a pack of slim folds so to be quite honest with you personally I think I'll actually use the box for a nicer pen um, yet again another Parker oh look at that a lovely pack well <laughs> What would a pen haul be without a Parker 51? We've got a lovely grey Parker 51 fountain pen and pencil. Already in lovely condition. We'll just service it and we'll get that up and running. Um, Waterman fountain pen. Let's open it up. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, we've got a Parker sorry not a Parker a Waterman idea you can see it's got somebody's initial there but yeah these make nice little everyday writers so there we go a nice little Waterman pen um, got a big box here yes another Parker so what we've got here is no I'm not going to show you this one this one's a lovely pen. I've actually shown you this model numerous times, but I don't think I've shown you this particular colour. So that'll re be reviewed very soon. We've got this large Waterman box here. Look at the size of it. And then if we open it up, we've got a nice little Waterman inside. There we go, in this lovely blue lacquered lacquered effect i'm not particularly sure it's a modern pen what model it is um but yeah it's got a lovely 18 karat gold gold nib 
so I'm sure there's people out there that are looking for Waterman pens, modern ones. If so, get in touch. Right, I can't waste, Stuart. Ah, this is quite a modern one. Let me just try and see if I can look over the camera. Um, is it a 60, Conway 67? Uh, there we go. Uh, not top of the range. I think this is sort of mid to the bottom bottom of the range of the Conway Stewart pens. <coughs> uh, we've got this lovely box here. Oh, this is a nice set. Look at that. A lovely... <coughs> there we go. Burnham. A lovely... Burgundy Burnham fountain pen, lever pen, in gorgeous condition. What we'll do, we'll service it. I'm sure there's people out there that are looking for Burnham pens. If so, get in touch. Right, let's uh, move these over without them falling over. Uh, here we go, we've got quite an old quite an old box here and if we open it up inside look at that we've got an old uh, an old eyedropper as as expected the sort of rubber has now decayed uh, but what we've got here is a this is a Waterman 12 I believe there we go got a Waterman nib it's what we term as an eyedropper there's people that like these pens so there we go, a nice waterman. Yes, another Parker pen. Let's open it up. Ah, right. Ha ha, yes, what we've got here is a lovely green Parker Maxima fountain pen. Hey, <laughs> yes, Maxima with the large number 50 nib. Very sought after, very popular pens, great everyday writers. These were actually sort of the top of the range in the Parker Dufault pen, uh, range of pens of the period. And they're very, very sought after. And the nice thing about it, this green is the less common colour. So I'm sure there'll be people sort of jumping at that particular pen. Uh, what we got here another Parker. I think it's just yeah a slim fold with an open nib as you can see there so let's pop that to one side not a lot left so let's bring them on here okay what's this one there we go it does what it says on the tin a Schaefer and there we go some of you will look at that You'll recognise it straight away, but let's show you. Yes, what we've got is a Schaefer PFM fountain pen. And the nice thing about this one, it's actually got a broad, broad nib. So what we'll do, we'll service that. I believe it's got a name on it somewhere. Yeah, I think, I don't know if you can actually see that. It's got somebody's name on it, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do to a... Will I fill it, polish it out, or just simply replace the barrel? Not quite sure yet, um, but this is a PFM made in Australia. Let's put that to one side. Let's get this set in. Ah, right, now this one, a gorgeous little set. If we just unzip, unzip the pouch, look at that absolutely gorgeous and what we've actually got for you and I'll do a review so I'll keep it briefly keep it brief should I say is a Delarue fountain pen and pencil set gorgeous we'll clean that up rev well review it not sure whether I'm actually going to sell or keep this particular pen incidentally there's a there's a couple of pens in this lot that hmm do I keep it? Do I do a part company with it? I don't know. I've not decided yet. Right now, these two—they're not fountain pens, but what they are. Let's show you. There we go. We've got a yard of lead pencil. Okay, in solid silver, 
the people out there that collect these pencils so if this one's of interest to you get in touch and uh, there we go another yard of lead it's got this cleaning cloth it's got the instructions and this one if you look at it is still is still in the cellophane packaging it's gorgeous and it's a gold filled yard of lead so you people that collect these yard of leads if that is of interest to you get in touch and that's it on the boxed pen so as you can see there's some very nice some very interesting pens there uh, one or two hmm do I keep them do I part company with them I don't quite know as yet I need to decide upon that but they're the box pens from part one tomorrow keep watching we'll do all the loose ones as part two but for now I'm just going to say Slavo Kriini from me and these lovely pens I'm just going to say bye bye for now